taking the course from Ubuntu 18.04 to Ubuntu 20.04, and I came across an intriguing new line in the SSHD config file. And it was this line right here, include etsy ssh sshd config.d slash asterisk dot conf. So anything in this directory that ends with a dot conf, that will be included. So I took a quick look at the man page for sshd config, because this, uh, this line was new to me. And it says this is a new thing that wasn't in the default with prior versions. And it says anything that's in this with a .conf extension will be included at the start of the configuration file. So options there will over the, override those in the sshd config file. Why would we want to do this? If you put your own configurations in your own file outside of the sshd config file and the sshd config file is updated, you won't lose your changes because they're still in your own file. Also, we typically only want to change a few settings and we want to do that consistently across our systems for the most part. So having this file, you can put it on any of your Ubuntu systems in that directory and it'll work for you. So how does this work? First, we have to add this file. You can see there's nothing in, in the directory to start with. So I'm going to call this 10 myssdstuff.conf. And the 10 in front is just a kind of simple way to tell which files are going to be read first. If I want a file to be processed after this one, I can call it 11. If I want it processed before, I can call it 9. And we'll just put the keywords and the arguments in here. That's all you really need. I will put a comment at the top so we know what's going on. We're going to turn the Debian banner off. We'll disable forwarding. So you won't be able to tunnel through this server. We're going to turn off root login explicitly. And we'll disable password authentication, but make sure you do not do this step until you've already tested that key-based authentication is working or you'll be locked out of your system remotely. You'll have to go to the console somehow. We'll say permit empty passwords, no. Even though that's a default, I just feel good having it explicitly spelled out. And we'll save and quit. So we see that our file is there and we see that it has the settings we wanted. Now all we have to do is restart the SSH service. And if you type reload, it won't kick you out of your session. I believe even if you click restart, it won't, but reload is a little bit safer. Now we'll, on another tab, we'll log in again to make sure SSH is still working. And we're in. So this is how I recommend setting up SSH on an Ubuntu 20.04 server.